and we're here with a very special man. I think he's even penning lyrics right now as we speak. <laughs> That's just how dedicated he is <laughs> to his craft. I've got the man, the myth, the legend, Ash in the building. How are you, my brother? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm not bad. How's life treating you? Life's treating me rubbishly, but we move. <laughs> um, <laughs> we don't move. I want to hear why rubbish. <laughs> What's going on? We don't move. Tell me why. Nah, do you know I haven't, I haven't slept properly, man. I've been, okay. I've been grafting. Obviously, just working on the next one, so yeah. The hustle is making you not sleep. Yeah, but that's all right, isn't it? It's okay. No, no. I don't <laughs> think it's, no, no, listen. I've, I've listened to the EP. We've been fans of yours for years. You yes, make good man. music, but I'm sure that came with sleep. Yeah, yeah. This one came with sleep. This one, the next one is going to be, this one's going to be a, yo, yeah. This one's a graph one. I'm ready for it still. I'm ready for it. But I did, right. I did get a little bit of a nap before I landed here, so yeah. Sleep, sleep, bro. It's, yeah, it's, it's sleep, never, believe me, if we have to delay, if we have to delay the next project by a week or two, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's, it's all you, good. I, I love that, man. It's a pleasure having you in my city, London town. But you are particularly proud of being a Brummie. I, yes. I bumped into you this year at Wireless Birmingham, yeah. actually, which was very nice. <laughs> we were backstage. And you've done collabs with Birmingham legends like Miss, JK, Millions in the past. Mm-hmm. But I've got one question. Did you peak as a Brummie this year, performing at the Commonwealth Games? Can you tell me a bit about that? Um... It was mad, you know. I think that was my first, like, what was that, my main Brummy moment. I think I don't think I'll ever have a Brummy moment like that. Literally going out singing Birmingham, Birmingham, Birmingham. What was what was the atmosphere <laughs> like in Birmingham? So just rep the town a little bit. Like, how did it how did it come about this Commonwealth Games performance? What was it like? Did you have a um, feeling of pride? Nah, it was it was mad. It was mad natural, really. Um, they shouted my management. Um, I didn't hear anything until like the week that I had to go yeah. and do rehearsals. When I got to rehearsals, I was like, oh, wait, this is serious? <laughs> like they rehearsed exactly everything, exactly how it was in a whole different place. They built the whole thing. You're to, joking. I swear. And I was like, why is there a buggy picking me up? And then I was like, well, this is a serious thing. I didn't realize. Then I think I only realized it was going to be that much people and it, I didn't realize it was going to be like an actual live stadium yeah. audience. I was like, until like I was going on, I was like, nah, this is crazy, yo. Firstly, <laughs> firstly, I'm very happy for you. So congratulations. You, that sounds you. amazing, brother. I can see the glint in your eye when you're talking <laughs> about it, but I cannot believe they built a new stage for the rehearsal. They, so, they built the stage in a whole different, different just, area. Just, just so you could just rehearse so we can and practice. keep it moving. Yeah, because it was on TV, and it? So that day was like, we ain't messing this up. <laughs> it's not. You've been, I mean, you've been making great music for a while. You've obviously yeah. done a lot of performances. Would you say that was the biggest and best? That was the biggest. Mm, I want to say best, because because obviously I didn't really get to interact with the fans. I think that's yeah. my, that's more me really. Um, but, but like it was the it was the biggest definitely. And now that we've gone to the topic of the best, which one just in, from your past sticks in your mind? The best um, one ever, the one the crowd interaction was. When we came one. home for the tour, um, for the Birmingham tour, yeah, it was it was nuts. It was nuts. Unreal. Like the, the, it was unreal. And just to know that having people back here and sing your songs and they like it, I'm like, yeah, this is amazing. Um, listen, you talented artists, I get jealous of you guys. It's no bit less. Let me not say jealous because that that gives that gives negative connotations. Yes. But I'm just I'm just. <laughs> thinking about it imagine you're looking at however many thousands of people and they're just charting every single lyric every back single to you lyric, yeah, okay cool that's amazing so we've covered the sick performances mm-hmm. and we've covered life going apparently rubbishly outside of sleep deprivation <laughs> yeah. how's life been outside of the music how, how you find in london do you spend a lot of time in london um like here and there you know here recently there. not that much last year i was not earlier on in the year i was here yeah, every like f- two to three weeks yeah. or just staying down here for like two weeks at a time or something like that is like, it a necessity because of work like is it, um, you there's more going on here in music or is that doing a disservice to Birmingham I think I think because obviously at the time obviously it was just coming out of Covid so before while Covid was heavy I was down here quite a lot because like nothing was moving so yeah. I was just in the studio Okay, I hear that, man. You're doing your thing. Well, you're, well listen, you're, you're always welcome here. That's number one. You need to know that. <laughs> and now now that we've seen each other for a second time this yeah, year, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to start giving you a few of my spots in yeah, London yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, so cool. I'm, I'm sure you're going to certified places already. Nah, no, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to have to tell me still. I'm going to have a word with these two in a minute. Why are you guys not taking him to nice places? Sleep deprivation, he's not going to nice places. Hey, you know. What's going on? Uh, Imagine. I'm sure he's been working, but work hard, play hard. That's all. He's been the mantra. These are lying, bro. These are these are love giving me free time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good to hear, man. Honestly, listen, work hard, play hard's always been the mantra. We're gonna light up in London. And I'm gonna play you one track here. Uh-huh. So 
It's Karen Yame KG featuring Mr. Silver. It's called Coco. Have you heard it? I think I have, you know. You have. have. This is one of my favourite tracks. I just like playing nice tracks for artists. Obviously, we've got your triple threat coming up later <laughs> where you're going to be playing free tracks. And after this track, we're going to be tucking into the 7 EP and you're going to be telling me all about it, all right? Yes. Sound That's like good. a deal? Deal. Sounds good. This one here, for the Beat London listeners, you're listening to The Drive Time Show. Me personal vibe creator, Mr. Karim Batar. This is Karen Yame KG. I like playing that drop. We're no longer called the Bitter Sweet Show, but I like playing it anyway. It's one of my friends <laughs> saying a nice little drop. Welcome back. We are still here with Ash, yeah. the main man. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good, I'm good. Clearly a Van Gogh off-air as well. <laughs> drawing. If, if you could see some of the artworks he's pulling up here off-air, you would be amazed. But I want to speak to you. Oh, yeah, he's put it up there for the camera. There, can we get another shot for the camera as well? Just showing him what he's getting. I mean, by the end of the show, we're going to have something complete. So just be patient with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to talk about your EP7. So mm-hmm. it is your debut EP as a solo artist yes. how do you think it compares to your joint work with Lotto Boys um, it's real I think that's the best way I can explain it it's, this is me in it really and truly I don't really have to shy hide fake it's just me and who is the real you because I'm not going to let you get away with that you can say, you can say <laughs> it's re- real but the real me is basically I'm, I'm, it's my imperfections in it so it's mm. me kind of honing in on my imperfections like so from track to track it was basically from 2019 to early 2020, 21. Okay, so kind of coronavirus, feeling. like COVID. Yeah, time. so COVID time, that's exactly how I was feeling. So from me feeling unapologetic, even though the song's called Apologize, feeling <laughs> unapologetic to feeling sexy, to feeling like there's no need for certain stuff, to doing things properly, finding out my new motion, boom, going into the final, I'm on my own. Yeah. So basically it's like a, it's a trajectory of how my life has been. And do you think, okay, so outside of 2019 to 2021, <laughs> these different characteristics of your personality which you've showcased in yeah, this EP, yeah. have they always been about or is it just in this time period? Have you kind I, of felt that, they, but some of them aren't imperfections, by the mm-hmm. way, you're calling them imperfections. How can be a sexy be? <laughs> because um, I feel like sometimes, you know, okay, you can feel sexy, but sometimes you might be lying to yourself because you might not be okay. I hear that. Do you get what I'm saying? So that. the hidden meaning to that is that even though I was saying I'm sexy, maybe looking at so my life's still ugly, but everything's sexy. It was I was giving the I was just showing him that like yo, even though everything's looking a bit messy, like you still gotta lift yourself. Do you know what I mean? And that was me figuring out who I was. So I wouldn't say imperfections altogether, but it made me realize it's okay to be not perfect. Of in course, and that's a very good message you're sending out there. And do yeah, would, you, would you say? that you use almost the music to as a form of therapy is that a cliched thing to say or does that actually happen for artists yeah for um it started when i dropped a song called um audience that yeah. was the first therapeutic drop that i've ever yeah. had in my life because i aired off some stuff that i was feeling and whatnot um down to on my own that was the next therapeutic one that was the next level of therapy but on a, on a side note obviously I still go therapy um, I'm heavily going church and that's so all yeah. very it's keeping me grounded man so yeah man. I think I've always seen in like previous interviews of you I've always seen like in articles like you're a man of faith 100% what can you tell me about it how did that come about is it from a young age just your parents and stuff or um it, it's it, it started off with my parents, but I didn't go that way. Like, I left the church to get on me. Yeah, yeah. And I just stopped going all together. Like, I was just doing my own. You left the church, but every Sunday, and then came back the next Sunday? No, no, no. I, <laughs> I, no, I, I, I just left, and then I didn't come back for, yeah. like, a good two three, two years or something okay. like that. What I made you come I, back? What made me come back is I came, sorry, I came back for the wrong reason. I came back to, like, show off in it at that time. But then I heard... <laughs> It's crazy, obviously I can't go into detail, but obviously really and truly, I heard God's voice and it telling me go home and I was like, yeah, this is crazy. But Why we, can't you go into detail here? I thought it was time in it. <laughs> you can't go into detail, can't you? Do you know what I mean? So obviously I must have been sitting on the chair and obviously I don't, I don't really care what people say, but I was sitting there and um, I wasn't really paying attention. I was kind of leaning. Mm. Then I heard a voice saying, go home. And I was like, why did my pastor just shout like that? When I looked up and I realised that it was a woman that was preaching, I was like... I'm like, he's, he said Oh my that. God, so you had like a moment. Like I had a proper moment and it made me humble myself because I'm like, I actually came here to just to show off and just to be big chested and show yeah. them what I'm, what I'm feeling like now. That was mad. I thought I went to church with pride. What were you showing off because you kind of made it and you're coming back to the church as someone yeah, who had yeah. made it? So I was, just, I was showing off and then... I got humbled and that same day I went home and I said, oh, I'm, 
I need to change. This is crazy. That's Matt. Can I get that go home scream again one more time? Just have go it. Go home. Is it like that? Kind of echo. The one which yeah, pierces yeah, through your man. soul. I felt it more than I heard it. That was mad. It, it from my very inside. I couldn't. I can't explain it. But for like a, literally a millisecond, I felt like the world froze. I would get rattled here and now, but to be honest, yeah. it's, it's, it's taking you back to a good place, and it sounds yeah, like your, sounds like your faith is directing you in the right direction. Yeah, man, yeah, definitely. And you're now you're working hard. It sounds like you're. I, I was thought you were humble, but you're saying there was this showy side to you. But yeah, it's yeah, brought yeah, you yeah. to a place of humility as well and <coughs> hard work, which is nice to hear. We've got a track coming up, and we're going to be talking more about the EP, EP after this one. Here's Miles from Kinshasa, mm-hmm. Kadiata, Don't Be an Op. Let us know what you think. Let's go. Alright, we are back with the artiste in both senses of the word. He draws. This is the update on the artwork as we go through the show. This is fantastic. It's really building to be something. And I now don't just want the artwork. I'm being demanding. I want a name for the artwork later. No problem, is that cool? No problem. no problem. You're a very creative man. I've got a quote here. Mm-hmm. Life is not a matter of holding good cards, That's but of it. playing a bad hand well. Yes. This has been attached with kind of all the promo which has come with yeah. the EP. And the quote obviously suggests to me that you've been through some tough times or mm-hmm. you've been dealt bad hands in your life yeah. and you've touched on it a little bit earlier but what can you tell me a bit more about that quote um it was basically just a matter of me kind of coming to a place where i'm like yo what's going on everything's gone to absolute so i was like yo i don't understand what this is and obviously going through a couple um chatting to certain people um therapy as well mm. um that was one of the things that stuck out to me Definitely. If I'm prying, correct me, but um, what were those things which were kind of setting you off, which were the bad hands? Can you go into more detail? So um, it was like, it was like being in some place where I can just drop, just dropping music all the time, and then bang, can't release. I'm like, what's going on? Obviously, it's just it's a lot of factors. Obviously, it's not my place to speak on you know what I mean but really and truly I was I feel like thank God for it because if, if it didn't I probably still would have been full of myself I probably still would have been in the places where I'm sure God was not happy with me <laughs> do you get what I'm saying I, I so, yeah that. man as, as a music purist entering yeah. the industry I can tell you're someone who like, likes their music and stuff like that mm-hmm. do you think like you kind of get used to or do you still get bogged down by all the admin that comes with it and all the kind of contractual stuff and stuff like that because um... there's a lot of added extras that music artists need to deal with these days which yeah. people don't realise it's not like you just rock up and make music there's so many factors you have to consider <laughs> with social media as well what can you tell me about that one um I don't I wouldn't say bug down anymore because I'll kind of just I just take it and one day at a time kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. but I think you, I used to be like oh how am I going to do that how am I going to do that how am I going to do that when I started realising that the less I did like more things kind of got patterned not less that I was involved yeah. I was still working I was still learning but the less I stressed myself out the more things got sorted out and I thought to myself okay I'm, I'm, I'm honing in I'm going to I'm going to keep this 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 vibe that's going I like the day by day approach and to be honest is yeah. there any other way I mean yeah, things are going pretty well I was just showing a photo on your phone just now <laughs> something like that is it, is it possible you could tell the Beat London listeners what I just saw Which um, it was just a conversation between me and Drake over some comments <laughs> yeah if, if you missed that by the way that was just you know casually dropping Drake it's just this cash you know Ash, Ash and Drake just having a conversation and what, what was the conversation about um, well I put um, I was replying to one of his pictures um, the caption um, and he said um, we have a tune forwarding and I said facts thousand percent <laughs> what do you think an Ash and Drake track would sound like that which which Drake you get in complimenting you Ooh. do you know what I mean because there's been so many iterations of Drake across the last decade I'm gonna say me and the take care Drake really Okay, I can see that. that a lot. Do you know where I had you as well? I have you in that kind of take care pocket. Um, yeah. The album, which not many people talk about, More Life. You know, in 2017, yeah, when he was doing yeah, yeah. Blem and Passion Fruit and those ones, it was just such a, I can see you floating on yeah, yeah, those definitely. sort of beats with him. But yeah, which for. track in Take Care? That's what I want to hear. Mm. You're not trying to replace Rihanna, are you? Nah, nah, nah. Definitely <laughs> not. Um, it's a hard one to pick, you know. I like putting you on the spot. It's okay. Know, a little bit of pressure. I, I know we're just it, talking about it, no it. stress, but just a tiny bit of pressure. But don't think too hard because yeah, really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave it in the shadows. Yeah, I'm gonna you're just it. gonna, you're just gonna let it happen. Because I actually want to say the right thing. <laughs> I want to say the right, the right. Let thing. it marinate. You know, we've got half an hour to show left. Let it marinate, and. 
if there's another artist you'd want to work with mm -hmm. who could have imagine you could have got someone on the EP this one so you had millions and we want wraiths of course mm -hmm. but who else would you say from that side of the world would suit well with you if you had to work with them you can hold a track down on your own we know that but mm. who's someone you think hmm. you know what I've been intrigued in lately like, like Thames oh that would be a great pair can you two again make this happen <laughs> uh, we need to get these two on camera as well no, please, please please get cooking and make this happen that would sound amazing yeah, yeah. I Obviously. think that would be amazing and again which Thames pocket are you going Thames damages are you going free mind are you going essence the classic essence though. essence no, that's what I'm sticking essence yeah. see why did they stick Justin Bieber on the remix when it could have been you you know do you know what I mean, like, what's Justin, gonna, though, what we mean? Big, big shouts to Justin big shouts to Justin <laughs> but who's making these decisions we need to know. <laughs> anyway you're listening to the Beat London's drive time show and you're going to be very excited to hear it. if you've just tuned in we have got Ash in the building for the next half an hour and you've got two special things coming up number one we are doing this triple threat he's going to be playing three tracks from the EP and then there's going to be a game coming up later which he's looking at me like yo what's going on we've got a few adverts yeah, and we'll be back <laughs> the beat all right, we are straight into Ash's triple threat. Can I quickly get you to flash the artwork to the camera? We're going to get it done quickly. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> Coming along lovely. So we're near the end. But right now, you're going to tell us about Sexy, please. You've got 50 seconds. Go. Uh, sexy is a song where you got to feel sexy. Come you know on. What I'm saying? You don't have to uh, be match the criteria of the world's version of sexy. You just got to believe in yourself, believe in what you are, who you are, and what you represent. And that is sexy. So self-belief and being yes. content in your own stuff that is, is yeah. the true is the ash definition of sexy yeah yeah yeah, yeah going yeah. against a traditional kind of definition of yeah, sexy yeah, which yeah. is the stuff you see in the magazines yeah rubbish social media stuff mm -hmm. like that rubbish rubbish you're done done now okay cool <laughs> and this one was the track I'd say <clears throat> the lead single coming through from the EP really enjoyed mm -hmm. it we've uh, put this on our brand new playlist I don't, oh. I don't know if you noticed <laughs> If someone, if someone didn't tell you this is currently on our playlist eh? A so next Ooh. time I'm going to send some DMs if nice. you didn't know nice so could you just introduce the track one more time this one is sexy and this one is for all of you guys bless <laughs> listen I know for a fact the Beat London listeners are sexy but it's a different type of sexy right now we are feeling that one there the first of the triple threat from Ash how are you feeling after that sir I'm feeling sexy <laughs> listen listen we felt sexy before and after but we've been given the Ash definition yeah Man. Number two, we've got motion. Take it away, man. Um, for motion, motion is basically it's the flow, literally. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, yo, what? Motion was like the the substance that happens outside of your own movement. Do you know what I mean? No, bring more to. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, <clears throat> in a sense, like you know how the the flow of life. Yes. How it's going on? It's just analyzing that, like, yo, this is where this is what's happening right now. Um, how am I gonna tailor to this? How am I gonna move and maneuver with this? And what's the motion okay. now? I get it. So kind of correct me if I'm wrong here, mm -hmm. but the motion around you and the fact that life's constantly going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. the motion around you and how you're reacting. Yeah, to that yeah, motion. yeah. So it's like. Like what's, the, right. what's the new move? All right, I think I've just bagged myself a, a feature performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's no, no, I get it, I get it. All right, cool. You are now introducing Motion, my friend. Give it some vim. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, this one is Motion by yours truly. Ash, I hope you all enjoy. Check the Motion, gang. Okay. You best believe we're vibing to this one in the studio. The second track of our triple threat and one of seven tracks on the seven EP here. You are listening to Ash Motion if you have just locked in as the Beat London's Drive Time Show. And we've got Ash until 7 p.m. We're very privileged. All right, brother, you're up. Number three. Now let's do this properly. Jeez, so Come properly on. is basically where I came to the space in my life where I was like, yo, I need to do things properly. Even though like the parties are going on, it's like, okay, how am I going to treat this girl properly? Mm. For example, um, obviously in the song it says, um, I'm going to um, basically... What was it? Oh my gosh. Take your time, don't worry. Oh yeah, so I'm going to basically pay for the, the stuff that that obviously that you actually need and yeah, do yeah. it properly not the materialistic yeah, stuff yeah 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 yeah. I hear that and, and I'll give I'll give it to you to trust you and this is this is you kind of thing and just um, looking after someone and, and obviously especially when it comes to the marriage bit um, getting um, rather than saying yo this is what I'm on I'm, I was like let's get I, I'm, but first before we get, have a baby we need to get married so I'll pay your dowry 
the dowry geez you're bringing it you're yeah. bringing it way back yeah. you're going way back if you, if you guys are saying chivalry is dead Ash is here to tell you that it's not and he wants to do things properly and settle down with a nice lady I'm assuming you're still single yeah I, well, uh, yeah, I am no. single yeah, at yeah. the moment yeah, 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 because yeah. of the way you're speaking you're talking about marriage in the future yes, yes, but yes. introduce the track my friend this one is properly and this is all about doing the thing properly jeez yeah. So if you've been moving a bit sideways with a girl or a guy respectively, please know that you have to do things properly. Ash is telling us the way forward. That is the third track from the Triple Threat. And if you've liked what you've heard, which I'm sure you have, go listen to the 7 EP, please. Run up those streams. And now... After the triple threat, make yourself comfortable, my friend. Have we finished the artwork? Yeah, um, I like unfinished pieces, so yeah. That's Can we show the kind of finished, unfinished piece, please? That is amazing. You know what? Big up yourself. Come on now. What? What is? Because uh, I can't, I can't draw for ish. So that is amazing. Have we got a name for the artwork? Or is that at the end of the show? Um, I'm gonna call it. Call him. Tensions building here. Raven. Raven. Say no more. Raven. Come on now. All right. So, I can't believe it. You're actually very talented. <laughs> He's been doing an interview whilst drawing now. That's, that, that, that is amazing. We've come into a game now. Yeah. Okay, so obviously a very famous dish in Britain is called bangers and mash right but today we're going to play a game called bangers and ash okay <laughs> so i've run through a list of uk number ones from the past all right they're yeah. the bangers you're ash okay cool. i'm going to play five tracks here for you okay and you're going to guess the year maybe even the month but give me the year i don't want to make it too hard the year in which this track was number one does that sound okay yeah. You got it? I'm going to play you a track. You're going to guess when it was UK number one. I see you looking at my piece of paper. Don't look down. All right? I see you. If I knew that was the answer, I would have looked a bit harder. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> All right. Track number one. Are you ready for this, yeah? No, but go on. You're not ready. All right, here we go. This one. I'm obviously going to tell you the name of the track, so don't stress too much. Okay? Here we mm-hmm. go. Yeah. So you know the track? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's Dave, Funky Friday, yeah. and Fredo. What can you tell me? What, do you, what, do I what year was this number one in the UK? 2018. 2018? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm bugging. 2017, sorry. No, no, just have a think about 2019. it. 2019. Okay, I'm going to take... Okay, I'll, give you, I'll be honest with you. One of those three is correct. I'm not going to tell you which one, but just think about this and I'm going to take a final answer from you. Okay, what year are we in now? 2018. 2018, final yeah. answer. Do you yeah. know if it's right or wrong? Yeah, let's go. Woo! That's one. Let's Come go. on. <laughs> All right. That is number one in Shoot. the bag. Okay? So it's easy uh, right now so far. You're one and one. Mm. Okay, you ready? Number two. Yo. Yeah. In the UK. What do you reckon? Did you say number one in the UK? Number one in the UK. So you've got Funky Friday 2018. 2003. Three. 2003? Yeah. Okay. Final answer? Are you sure? Because if it's wrong, you'll hear this. But if it's right, you're going to hear this. 2003. 2003, final yeah. answer? Yeah. All right, I can reveal that it is... <laughs> that's two. Right. You got it right. That's yo, two. Yo. That is two in two. All right, cool. So, yo, are you I've ready? I've seen them, you know, because like, I don't even know. <laughs> for tra- I'm even cheating. <laughs> are you ready for track number three? Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. We have got something very special here. One of my favorite tracks. I'm not going to actually tell you what it reminds me of because that will give it away. But this is it. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. We've got the wrong track in the system. I'm going to tell you the name of the track myself. <laughs> Rihanna Diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond. What year was that UK number one? Um, <clears throat> You've got two diamond. and two so far. It's very impressive. I'm seeing I'm 2007. Starting, I'm starting to think you're looking at my sheet. But I'm going to go for 2010. 2010? Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. All right. You've gone for Rihanna Diamonds 2010. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that it is... Oh, wait. Yeah, that was wrong. That's wrong. What year do you think it was? It was 2012. It was 2012. I'm going to give you... Do you know what? Second time round, well done. (laughs) You smashed it. Now, your fourth choice here. This is number one 
champion sound. Yeah, yeah Estelle, we about to get down. get down. Who the hottest in the world right now? Just touch down in London. Town. What do you reckon? I'm pushing towards like 2006, 7. 2006, 7. Around them times. You gotta give me one of them though. I'm gonna say six. You can keep I'll listening to it. You. 2006? Boy. All right, ready? 2007? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> All right, you are one year away. I kind of want to give it to you. It's 2008. Uh, it's 2008, but... Close, close, close. Do you know what? It's an absolute classic. You're two and four. This is very impressive. I don't think any of us could have done this. You have got the, the, the last track here. Okay. Let's give this a shot. It's a classic. You should know this one. Okay. This right here, tell me why. Goes out to everyone. I kind of just want to let it run. What do you think? <laughs> we'll let it run. We'll keep it going yeah, a little bit. Like Today. Have you got a decade for me? Let's start narrowing it down. What decade is this? This is when Diddy was like in his cool phase, you know, he used to flick his jacket. <laughs> this song was made about someone. Was it? See, I didn't know that, you know. Famously. When someone passed away. Oh, it's all my big. Okay, okay. So this is okay. So Biggie went 1996. Same year as Pac, innit? Was it year after? So he went 1997. So I'm gonna say. Oh, should I say 1997? 1997. 1997? Let's push it. You do realise if you get this right, it gives you a winning record. Three, three wins, two losses, and we'll take that. Uh, oh, yeah. If you lose, it gives you yeah. two and three. Yeah. 1997? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> can, we get, can we get a round of applause in the studio? Wow. Very, very mad. Well done. Listen, that is a very <laughs> difficult game. That was the inaugural game of Bangers and Ash. Yes. I hope you enjoyed it, to be honest. Yeah, man. Three and five. And I'll be honest with you, you were a year off, two years off with a few mm. of them. So we could have got five and five next time. But yeah, man. well done, my friend. We're going to play one more track and then I want to hear what's coming up next for you and no just problem. we'll wrap up this one. But it's been amazing having you. This one here, NSJ Marley. You heard of him? Uh, yeah, you I like him? That. Yeah, it's cool. I'm a big fan. He's, I think he sounds... I don't like calling people, saying people, sound like other artists but he definitely gives me One shades of David yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think he could be the next kind of generation Dave so let's see yeah, man. this yeah. is NSJ Marley I'm still here with Ash this one's called Maths we've been treated to some good music today we have as always here on the Beat London's Drive Time Show but obviously we had the triple threat from Ash and it's been fantastic to be honest have you enjoyed yourself sir? yeah definitely have thank you Yes, yes, it's your girl Nadia Rose, Nastiest Rose, Squad Boss, Bob Marlene, Freedom Fighter. You know the rest, you know how it gets. And you're locked into Bitter Sweet with my boy Karim. Don't miss a beat. Don't. Sorry, you were saying, after Nadia Rose interrupted us there, <laughs> you have enjoyed yourself. Yes, 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 I have, I have. Talk to me. I, um, I want to know what's coming up next for you. So you were talking now, you are saying you're not sleeping, you're working for this next project. Tell us quickly, we've got a couple of minutes. I'm just wrapping up the um, the next few bits. Um, the next one's already kind of... I don't know if I could release that, but I might as well anyway. The next one's already basically done. Um, okay, perfect. So it's just a matter of... Really, I want to do something a bit different to what everyone else is doing, so I might just throw it out there I'm excited for that I think you've got the versatility to be able to showcase that can you just can you give it a few months do you guys want can I speak to the management team as well because I kind of want seven the 70 pizza marinated yeah, yeah, no, yeah a couple of months yeah, yeah, yeah. It, won't, it won't be this year but yeah. won't be this year yeah, yeah, okay yeah. so I can run this on Christmas day with my parents yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, all cool. the way to Christmas I should give them. say no more say no more <laughs> that's the Christmas one I um and we've got 2023 and what are you doing for the rest of the year socially outside socially. of work are you doing anything interesting are you guys taking them on holiday you don't take them anywhere in London <laughs> Are uh, we going on holiday anyway? What's going on? Yeah, I might go to Nigeria in December. Is it? I've got some work down there. Today. Not Ghana. Everyone's going. I thought everyone's going See, to Ghana for Christmas these days. That's that was. But I'm going to work. I'm not going to. I don't. I don't want to go play in it. I'm going to go. Okay. Work, so hey, more Nigeria. more of the sleep deprivation. Okay. Yeah, man. No. Okay. <laughs> I'll sleep on the plane, yo. <laughs> you sleep on the plane. What? Sleep on the plane. How long's long the plane to Niger? I don't know. Isn't it. I've been there before, but I can't remember. I'm going to hazard a guess at about seven hours. Damn. 
Do you think? No, no, I'm guessing. Six. What do you guys think? I'd say six. Six, six hours. I'm from, I'm from Lebanon and it takes like five hours to get to Lebanon. So that's kind of, i mm, trying to measure it. You're going to the west of Africa, maybe. We'll look this up yeah, after. This I got is... kicked out of geography, so sorry. <laughs> you got kicked out of geography? Yeah. <laughs> say no more. We don't need to know the flight times. We can see the flight times on the email. 